Buongiorno, have a look around you. You will see field cultivated with open field crops such as maize, potatoes, sugar beet, onions, wheat, all crops that are very common in a typical Dutch rotation. All a crop needs to grow is sun, carbon dioxide and nutrients. If only one element is missing, the growth and by that also the production of proteins will be limited. We call this the law of the minimum. Fertilizers ensure that the plant have enough nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus or potassium by complementing the natural stocks present in the soil. The use of synthetic fertilizer together with mechanization and breeding was a foundation of the tremendous yield increments observed during the Green Revolution after World War II. Nowadays precision agriculture represents a new revolution in the agricultural technology. Precision agriculture aims not only at boosting the yield, but rather at ensuring that resources are efficiently allocated by varying the application rate of input, such as fertilizer, water or pesticides, based on the different needs of the different parts of the field. What strategy for fertilization reflects best the precision agriculture approach for fertilization? Too much fertilization leads to nitrogen runoff and algae clogging the waterways. Too little and the plants don't grow. Precision agriculture helps us to deliver the right amount of fertilization wherever and whenever it's needed.